Hey guys, it's Code Zealot, and I'm back with a new series for you guys. It's on map making in vanilla Minecraft. This has been something that has been requested several times, and it makes sense because all my videos have to do with commands and command blocks, and they are the heart of adventure maps in Minecraft. So, we're going to go ahead and get started today by showing you how to make a hearthstone in vanilla Minecraft. Alright guys, so this is an intermediate tutorial, so what that means is I'm going to assume that you guys have some knowledge about command blocks, commands, and some particular commands, such as the function command and the scoreboard command in Minecraft already. If you don't know what those are, go ahead and check out my Minecraft command tutorial series and watch those videos uh, to get caught up to speed and then come back to this one, because otherwise you might get a little bit confused. So, pretty much here's the concept. On my Minecraft server, I have an option for people to be premium players and when they activate that option they get certain benefits and one of the benefits on the server is the hearthstone now I'm assuming you guys have played other video games with hearthstones and you know what I'm talking about but just in case you don't pretty much it's a teleportation uh, system so if I click on this I will become a premium player and I will now be able to use hearthstones but what if I am not a premium player? What if I'm just, you know, somebody who logged onto the server for the first time and I want to use a Hearthstone? So I go on over to the Hearthstone store or whatever else, you know, whatever system you have. Uh, you can just give them away or you can make it so they can craft them or you can make it so they buy them. But in this instance, I'm just going to pretend that this is a store. And I go to the store and I'm not premium and I click on the button and nothing happens. Well, that's because I'm not a premium player. So this store knows that it's only supposed to give this premium item to people who have the scoreboard tag for premium Hearthstone. So I don't have the tag. So how do I get it? Well, I do whatever I have to to become a premium player on the server. And once I'm a premium player, I can now go over to the store and buy Hearthstones. So what is the Hearthstone? Well, the way I have it set up here it's a writable book, and it has some lore on it. It says, Place an Offhand to Return to Main Town. And it also has the custom name, Hearthstone. Now, this can be any item. It can have any name. It can have any lore text that you want. This is just the way that I have it set up for this tutorial. Now, I'll show you guys how to edit it once I show you how it works. So, let's pretend that this is my home. And uh, if you like this house, you can learn how to build it in my build tutorial series, uh, on my channel so check it out if you're interested but pretty much let's pretend this is my home on my server or my single player world or whatever and I want to teleport with my hearthstone here well all I have to do is I'll go out here and I'll be doing my daily task of whatever cutting down trees and it's time to go home I just scroll over to the hearthstone and I use the keyboard shortcut to put it in my offhand which is F so I'm gonna go ahead and press F and now I've used the Hearthstone and I'm back at my house. Okay guys, so here is the actual Minecraft function for the Hearthstone. So the first thing we're going to look at is this clear command. What this does is it clears this item from the inventory of all players who don't have a right to have it. So if you're not a premium player on my server and you actually somehow obtain a Hearthstone item, you know, if you killed a player who had one and you picked it up off the ground, what this command does is it removes it from your inventory. It doesn't let you have possession of the Hearthstone unless you have the premium tag that allows you. The next command here is going to add a scoreboard tag to the player who is holding the Hearthstone in their offhand. Now, if you're holding the, the Hearthstone in your offhand, you're going to get a special tag called Use Hearthstone. And this is the tag that actually allows you to use it. So the next thing that happens is an execute command runs. And it's going to target all players who have the tag use hearthstone. Now remember, the way you get this tag is by putting it in your offhand. So pretty much this is going to execute on all players who are holding a hearthstone in their offhand. And it's going to teleport them to the coordinates that you specify here. So here's the X coordinate right here, this is the Y, this is the Z, and then these are the coordinates that uh, pretty much put the player's eyesight where you want it. I forget what it's called right now off the top of my head. Uh, anyways, this is where you're looking. Now next, after you've teleported them to the location you've specified above, 
you're going to target the same players, the people who are having the Hearthstone in their offhand or who have put it in their offhand and have gotten this special tag, and you're going to replace that item in their offhand with air. So essentially, it, this makes the Hearthstone a consumable item. So you can only use it one time. So when you buy a Hearthstone, it only has one use. So as soon as you put it in your offhand and you are teleported to this location up here, it's going to remove it from your inventory by replacing the offhand slot with the Minecraft block air. After that, the last thing that needs to happen is all of the players uh, who have gotten this use Hearthstone tag need to have the tag removed because they've already used it. And this pretty much sets them up for another cycle of using a second Hearthstone. All right, Zealots, thanks for watching this video on Hearthstones in vanilla Minecraft. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and you want all of the content for my channel, go ahead and sub. And if you want to know every single time that I upload a new video, hit the little bell icon next to the sub button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.